also, why is it, and, and this is where maybe you can explain to us how you came up with this concept of the, of authentic and counterfeit emotions and what each of them does for you. And, and for example, pain and misery mm. being opposite of each other. Yeah. Or counterfeit to the. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm glad you just, you brought up that distinction because when we're growing up, we're taught opposite emotions. We're taught on one end of the spectrum, love, don't hate. And it's really easy to see the opposite side because there's the spectrum and over here is love, over here is hate. Do this one, don't do that one. And what the, the damaging or the really destructive nature of counterfeit emotions is that they slide up right next to the original emotion. And they, they put on the clothing, they, they put on a mask, they masquerade as that emotion. And so it's easy to see this is love and this is hate, but what about this is love and this is lust? And where do you draw the distinction between the two? Because you can put your lips to someone else's lips in the spirit of unity, in the spirit of giving, in the spirit of togetherness. You can do that exact same action. There's no difference in action. You know, love and hate, they're, they, they're totally opposite actions. Love and lust, the exact same action. You put your lips to someone else's lips in the spirit of taking, in the spirit of objectify, in the, the spirit of your own personal gratification, not thinking of the other person. Same action. But the counterfeit says, I'm the emotion that you want to feel. And the truth is that counterfeit emotions create destructive patterns of disconnection in our lives. They disconnect us every single one. If you look through the list, there's 32 dyads or pairings. You look through the list, every single counterfeit emotion disconnects. It either disconnects us from ourself, disconnects us from others, disconnects us from God, or disconnects us from the truth. Every single one of them. And this is the research and in the, the book and coaching and and masterminds that you're working on is around this concept of these 32 dyads of authentic and counterfeit emotions and what do we do about it? What are the tools that we can use to move from the counterfeit to the authentic? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, can you give us some teasers on maybe how, how we can do that? Because I think that's what we need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so the first thing is is understanding how to identify whether the emotion you're feeling is is authentic or whether it's counterfeit. And there's four there's four criteria to identify the type of emotion you're feeling. The first one is connection, just like we talked about. Connection to self. Not the ego, not the titles, not the money or the the fancy cars or whatever it is or the accolades or the you know the sports accomplishments. None of that. The connection with self. When you strip everything away, who is Randy inside? Who is Curtis? All of the authentic emotions connect to that person. And then they also connect to others. One of the, we talked a little bit about guilt and shame. Guilt is a really healthy, important emotion. If there's, there's only four personality types that can't feel guilt. That's what they are. Narcissist. Narcissist. Um. Yeah, you continue. The sociopath, psychopath, and antisocial behavior disorder. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have guilt, we would all just be a bunch of narcissists and so sociopaths, right? If we didn't feel that guilt. And if you think about where does guilt come from? Guilt is actually based in empathy. And the old English word, if you look at the etymology of the word guilt, the old English says it comes from gilden. And gilden means to repay or means to make whole. The feeling of guilt means I feel I need to make you whole. If I do something wrong to you, then the feeling of guilt says, hey, go make Randy whole. That's guilt. Shame. Woo. Shame is one of the most damaging emotions we can feel. If you look at the frequency, this was fascinating when I found the research on this. Every emotion has a frequency. And if you look at the frequency, apathy is right at the bottom. That's the lowest emotion you can feel before and in your life is apathy where nothing matters. There's nothing good. Everything is, is just this dark darkness and not too far above that is shame. But if you look at the frequency of, 
guilt because it's based in empathy, because it knows how it feels, you know, let's say I punch you in the arm or whatever, you know, I know how it feels to be punched in the arm. And that empathy says, I need to go make Randy whole. And so it's based in empathy. You look at the frequency, it's well above into the positive. There's negative emotions and positive emotions, and it is well into the positive because it's so critical in helping us move somewhere. And of all the dyads, of all the 32 dyads, there's only two authentic emotions that are not meant to be held. They're meant to be felt. And can I guess what those are? Yeah, please. Is that pain and guilt? Yes, that's exactly it. 